Well, I've been working on my air compressor lines. Um, I don't get much water when I'm using my air tools. Um, I get more on this side here than I do in the paint booth area, and I think the reason why is because it's further away from the air compressor. Uh, right here is where the line comes in from the air compressor. It used to, um, it went up and over into this. I had this water trap here and a bunch of loops to kind of help cut some of the water and drains. And then it went over to that line, which goes right up to the wall, and then it goes up above the door and through the wall over into the paint booth. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a black pipe up there. And it goes down right to where that little sharp water trap is and filter. Anyway, um, I'm working on this. Um, had a friend of mine recommend me to do this. Um, I can't remember exactly what they call them. It's like up and down uh, water dryer or something. I don't know. I probably got the name all wrong. But I'm using three quarter inch pipe and I'm going to have approximately 30 feet of line that goes up and loops over and it comes down and um, I got to go buy some more tees. I forgot to buy them. I had one. There's going to be a drain there. And the air goes back up to this side and it loops over and uh, those vice grips are there just temporarily to hold it in place so I can tighten everything up because everything just kept twisting and buckling every which direction. So I had to do that so I'd be able to tighten it. But um, each loop, as it goes, the air cools down and the water condensates and settles to the bottom. And there will be altogether about six drains counting this one on the little Sharp F44. But, um, like I said, I gotta go tomorrow and get some more uh, T fittings. Uh, but like I said, there'll be about 30 feet of line there to uh, cool it down. And, uh, hopefully, this will work pretty good because the little um, after coolers that I was seeing that bolt on the, the fan shroud of your air compressor, the cheapest ones are, I don't know, I've seen some that were just $50. I don't know how well they were. They were actually transmission line cores for a diesel. But the ones that are made for an air compressor, if you go to Quincy or Ingersoll Rand, man, their, their starting prices are like $256, and they go all the way up to, some of them were $3,000, but those are ones that have refrigerators built into them. So the little after cooler they had that just bolted on the back of the 16-inch pulley that I got, I mean, there couldn't have been more than, I don't know, three or four feet of pipe that loops back and forth to cool it. So with this having approximately 30 feet of three quarter inch line, I'm hoping it should cool it very well, you know. I've read a bunch of things on the internet. People say they've done this and it works great. They don't have any problems. So, not quite done. Like I said, I gotta go get some more materials. <clears throat> I've got most of the pipe. Yeah, my shop is a mess. Uh, there's a little drains I'm using. Those are 3 8 inch, the brass part, and then the, the cast iron part above it goes from 3 8 inch up to 3 quarter inch. But, um, the bigger the line is, um, I don't know what it is, but it's because of turbulence or friction or what, but when you got a smaller line, it creates more heat. And the more heat makes more vapor in the air. So it's harder to get the moisture out of your air. So that's one reason why I went with three quarter inch instead of half inch. But um, all together, so far I've spent about $250, maybe $260. And I might have to go spend about, I don't know, 15 or 20 more tomorrow. But I just wanted to give an update. I was trying to fix my garage door yesterday and it was broken and it's pissing me off. So I decided to do something different. So if you like what I'm doing, like and subscribe to the channel and click the little bell and get all the updates. Thanks for watching.